Guys, Jed Walters here. Welcome to the TaylorMade Performance Center down here at Truefit Golf Center in Warrington. Today is Trackman Tuesday, it's episode four. Today's topic I wanna to talk about is how to hit a draw. So let's go and take a look. Right guys, so when we're talking about hitting a draw, we want the golf ball to spin, so it spins backwards, it never spins sideways, always backwards. So this tennis ball here through the shaft, if I spin it backwards, for hitting a draw, the golf ball's axis of spin will tilt this way. It's a little bit like the sort of wings of a plane if a plane was turning. So the ball will axis tilt left for me as a right-handed golfer, uh, and then it will curve from right to left. So if you're a lefty, it will tilt the opposite way and it will curve from left to right. So what we want to do is we want to create that feeling and measure a few different parameters as we go through. So we're going to look at five things. We're going to look at the club face. We're look, going to look at the club path. We're going to look at that relationship, the face to path. We're going to look at the spin axis to make sure that it is curving the right way. And we're going to look at the launch direction. The launch direction becomes important because for it to be a perfect draw, it's got to start to the right of our target and curve back onto target to the left for me. So if it starts straight or a little bit left of target and curves away, technically, even though it's the same shape and the overall shot looks the same, the classification would be a hook. Even we perfect draw, we want it a little bit from the, from the right hand side and then drifting back. So let's take a couple of shots and uh, just see what data we can produce. Let's see if on cue I can produce a couple of draws. Okay, so that one's got the shape, so my spin axis will be good there. Whether it started right enough for the target, we'll have a look. So launch direction, 0 0.8 negative, so it's a fraction to the left of my target line. My face angle was 1.6 left, so 1.6 closed. My club path was 3.2 plus, so that's to the right. So my face to path was 4.7 closed, so face 4.7 degrees closed to the path. Spin axis, minus 12.6. So minus 12.6, so we've got the spin axis moving in there. So that 12.6 is the degrees. So there we go. So that's the first feeling of what we get. We want to get with that feeling of hitting the draw. I just want to see if I can get this one to start a little bit more to the right and see if I can bring it more on to target. Okay, so I've got the shape in there. That one could be coming more back on to target. Launch direction 3.1. So I've started that one, oh sorry, 3.4, 3.4 to the right. My face angle 3.3, my club path 3.8. So face to path is only half a degree closed, spin axis minus 5.4, so a gentle little draw. That one has finished back on target. So that one there, we can classify as almost a, a perfect draw from the shot shape that I've just hit. Let's hit one more. So again, that little bit of draw, that one's going to finish a little left of target. So even though you look at the shot and it's got everything that we want to get, when we look at the data, launch direction 0.9 to the right, so fraction to the right, face 0.1 to the right, so almost perfectly at target, club path 5.1 to the right. So there I've got a minus five, so a five degree closed club face to my path, and that's produced a spin axis of 9.5 degrees negative to the left. So when we look there, if we can produce those figures, that will help us to get that club face moving the ball in the direction that we want to be able to facilitate hitting this draw. Guys, post your comments in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts. Does it make sense to you? Is this the shot that you really want to play? Are you happy with the pattern you've got or would you like a different pattern? Uh, I'll say post comments in the box below. Always like to hear from you guys. Um, thanks for watching. As always, uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Just click the little logo there on the screen. Um, follow me on social networks as well. The links are in the description below the video. Look forward to seeing you guys again next time for the next episode of Trackman Tuesday. Thanks for watching.